Pamela. I'm Kate. And I'm Avon. And today we're dishing with you from the Darlington House located at 1610 20th Street Northwest in DuPont Circle. And today we are so honored, I mean really honored, to have a great Washingtonian with us today, Mark Ein, who is among many, many, many things, the CEO of Venture House Group. He's also a sports team owner. He's a movie maker. He owns all these other companies, an entrepreneur, and blah, 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 blah. But we want to ask you, most importantly, because it's summer, <laughs> yes. about the castles. We are so excited to have the castles of World Team Tennis back in D.C. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the castles. What is it like to be this, the owner of such a fantastic <laughs> organization? Well, first of all, thanks for having me here, guys. It's great to be here. I'm a big fan of what you guys do. So Thank you. Great. Thank you. Really, you. you guys are doing great stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, the castles are great. So we're about to start our second season, and last year was a really big success. We sold 95% of our tickets last year. We had five total sellouts, and more than that, just people had a great time. You know, they came down and. The idea of World Team Tennis was founded by Billie Jean King 35 right. years ago. Okay. And her idea is that tennis would be better as a team sport because it combines the individual nature of being on the court by yourself, but then in a team makes it more interesting and actually better for kids. So that's one thing. And then also she wants it to be fan friendly. Mm -hmm. So if people who came last year will remember, we have a DJ, we have cheerleaders, we have a mascot. Uh, cheering's encouraged between the points. So it's really a fun, it's like going to a tennis match in a hockey arena. Right. And people had a great time. You know, a lot of people came at the beginning and then they just came back. And, and so we're really excited to do it again. Bigger and, and better. Well, speaking of your arena, you're in the middle of the yeah. city. Yeah. How, how did you get to have an arena in the middle of the city? That's the, you ever see that movie Field of Dreams? Where like the guy's sitting there like, uh, last year I was trying to think, of, where am I going to do this? Where am I going to do this? And I walked by there and I go, it was like I, the vision appeared. Like that's where I'm going to do it. And, and when it was built last year, I just went by it today on the way over here. And I, every time I pass it, I'm literally like, I can't believe this is happening, you know? And it's we've such built, an incredible location. It's, it's so great. And it's part of our mission is we want to make it accessible to everyone. So, right. you know, whether you come by metro, car, walk from your office, everyone can get there. And whether you're an office worker or a kid coming in, we give um, about 10% of our tickets to inner city kids to come see tennis. We give a thousand tennis rackets out to kids under 16 and every kid who comes to a match under 15 uh, gets an autograph from each player after a match so the That's players sit awesome. there and sign autographs. so it's very yeah. kid friendly and the whole idea there is just you know uh, you know just make the sport accessible and let people yeah. meet the players and see them and see them up close so it's really do I look fun. under 15 you, you, you do, do. You we, do but we don't card people. Much older, much <laughs> but one of our one of the players that it's important for everyone to know is Serena Williams. Yeah. So we're really excited. We, we're about excited. That. I actually was just over um, in Wimbledon with her, and she loves team tennis. I mean, she really had such a great time. She loves DC. She's had a connection here for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, her sister lives here. And so she's come to town, people, you know, very quietly, but she loved playing here, loved playing for the fans. And um, we have some great things planned for her night as well. How do you draw for the big names? There's uh, one or two big names on each team tennis team. Yeah, is it a draft of some sort? Yeah, there's a draft. And when we started the franchise, once you have someone's rights, you keep it forever. And okay. so. Ah. Um, when I got in the league, I really wanted Serena. I thought she was the perfect person for our franchise. You know, we don't have a women's tour event in Washington. True. So I thought getting a woman would be better than a guy because we have a good men's event. Yeah. Um, and I just thought Serena is just, she's an icon, you right. know? That's and true. and our whole thing, again, is trying to expose tennis to kids from all backgrounds. And I mean, there's no better example of what tennis can do to change your life than Venus and Serena. So either, why so. tennis uh, opposed to any other franchise or any other sport or yeah. what have you? It's just the start, Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> <That's just laughs> the beginning. Exactly. We'll see where this goes. Well, Mark's it seems like you're getting into soccer. <laughs> I, I hear you're getting into soccer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a different thing. That's philanthropic. But no, I mean, tennis has been, in a serious note, tennis has been a passion of mine. Okay. my whole life and I do think it's a sport it's a sport of a lifetime you know and it's really I played a lot as a kid but it's still today a sport that I get out and I play with business associates and you know and, and Washington has a great tradition of tennis and philanthropy and community tied together mm -hmm. people don't actually realize that but the tournament in the summer is owned by a charity the one the leg Mason oh. owned by a charity and so money goes that it's just it just it it it, it, it kind of checks a lot of boxes of things that it, or matter to me, so yes. it's been great. So the Castle Stadium, um, of course, will have a lot of tennis seen yeah. there, but it's also going to host something else. Yes. And Kate touched a little bit upon that, that's soccer, and you are going to be hosting Street Soccer USA, the Cup. 
in, in July. And that's exciting. But tell us a little bit about that. Well, what is street involved. soccer, first of all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we did that um, last year, too. It was great. It was mm -hmm. the kickoff event in our stadium. And it's um, it's actually a uh, tournament, a soccer tournament, for people who are live on the streets. Um, it used to be called the Homeless World Cup, and they've changed the street soccer, which I think is a better name. And so you get, you get people from... Um, all, you get each city sends a team of five people. I think we had 13 or 14 teams come. And they come and they come to D.C. and they play in this tournament. And it's one of the most heartwarming things. First of all, they're good and the competition's amazing. But just to see how good they feel about themselves when they're competing and they have the name of their city on their back. And this, the team, at the end of this, they pick the team that represents the U.S. on the, the Street Soccer World Cup team. And so this is like the trials. And so there's a lot at stake. and. It's really a really terrific event to be part of. So there's of street soccer in other countries as well. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So the movie that Pamela talked about was a movie that Ted Leontes actually produced. But I was, he was the main producer. I was a small executive producer. But it was about, it was called um, Kicking It. Kicking Kickin It. And it yeah. was about the Homeless World Cup that took place in South Africa that yeah. year. Um, and I think this year, I can't remember where it is, maybe Melbourne, Australia. And so, yeah, it goes on and we get teams from all over the world who go to compete there. And it's... It's great. It's really high quality sport, but it's also just a really great human. Field because it's not just story. about yeah. the, um, the 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 sport itself and the competition, but they these gentlemen actually go through a program, right? Where yeah. they get them it gets them off. It the does, street. and so it gets it's them. It's important. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Find some jobs, and yeah, that's awesome. Well, when you're not playing tennis, <laughs> playing soccer, being philanthropic, Running helping everyone in the city. Yeah. It, can you tell us just quickly about your business? Because, you know, that's a big part of your life, too, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have, so, uh, you know, I'm basically an investor. And I like to either start companies or, more recently, I've bought companies like Castle Systems, which, you know, does security for 75% of the buildings in Washington. And it's so, it's, you know, it's the same. I love to grow these businesses. So we buy them and then work really closely with them and grow them to be much bigger over time. And Obviously, it's really rewarding on a lot of dimensions when you can grow some, provide opportunity for a lot of people. And um, your business is like the awesome. opposite of Richard Gere on Pretty Woman. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you build things. You build yeah. things. <laughs> Building blocks. It's funny when I bought Castle Systems, the guy I bought it from, who I, Gene Sandberg, who's a great entrepreneur and a guy, become great friends with, always told me that he felt like uh, the guy who Richard Gere bought the company from when we were doing the deal. I said, well. I, I don't admire the way Richard Gere was in business, but I'll take the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> Including Julia Roberts. There. Yeah, exactly. And that's right too. Well, we appreciate that you're growing things here in the city, and thank you for helping us to grow. We love learning about everything that you're doing, and we hope Definitely. that you did too. Thanks for joining us on this episode of The District Dish. Thanks for having me.